Thank you for choosing Look North. Council leaders across South Yorkshire have written to the Prime Minister to call for more financial support for communities if tougher restrictions to tackle coronavirus are introduced. Talks are continuing between the Government and Sheffield City Region, with the area on the verge of moving to Tier 3, which would see all pubs and bars close. No change to restrictions is expected in West Yorkshire this week. In Sheffield, Covid case numbers are falling, but they continue to rise in Barnsley, Rotherham and Doncaster. Ian White is in Doncaster now. What's the latest, Ian? Hello there, Harry. Well, let me just show you what Doncaster looks like under Tier 2 restrictions. The place barely has a person around. The town centre is really, really quiet. The bars, the pubs are really dead. There's nobody about. So the concern is what would happen if we went into Tier 3. That's what's been on the minds of the council leaders in this part of the world. Now, let's just remind ourselves of what the different restrictions mean. Tier 2, of course, here in South Yorkshire, also West Yorkshire and in Bassett Law. Mixing indoors anywhere with different households is not allowed, apart from support bubbles. The rule of six applies outdoors, including in private gardens. Now, if it was to go to the more severe level, that's Tier 3, then there would be a very high-risk category, that is, does not apply yet to anywhere in the Look North region, but would mean that pubs and restaurants would have to close and it would just be essential shops. That's what's happened in Greater Manchester today. So here in South Yorkshire, there have been negotiations going on between the council leaders from the Sheffield City region and also with the government. And earlier, well, a short time ago, in fact, uh, we spoke to the leader of Barnsley Council, Steve Houghton, and he told us how things had been going. Those discussions have been constructive. Um, I think both sides have made their positions quite clear what they expect from this, uh, as you would in any negotiation. But as I say, that is ongoing. Uh, and so we hope uh, that agreement can be reached at some point between both our two parties. What we're anxious to achieve is to make sure, first of all, we can control the virus much better as we move forward, but also protect our businesses and protect the individual people who may be affected by any changes. So as you'll understand, these are quite complex issues, uh, but hopefully we can reach some agreement at some point. So it's still a waiting game for the people of South Yorkshire. Uh, they, they just want to know, basically, what's going to happen because so many businesses depend on it. And the mayor of Doncaster, Ros Jones, uh, replied to a tweet earlier today and she said that she was very, very keen that some uh, financial aid was put in place before uh, we were raised to Tier 3. So I've been asking people in Doncaster this evening just what they think. Do they think that restrictions need to be increased with the infection rate going up here? I think trying to get back to normal for Christmas, it's not the worst idea um, to get back on track. Because if it's, if it's rising quite high at the minute and we're only in Tier 2, I don't see it changing before Christmas if we're going to stick to the same restrictions now. It's not changing, it's not helping. Really, really worried about the oldest and, uh, and our public, actually. So it's so risky and we have to keep ironing and we have to be on social distance actually. They should tighten it up because when I've been in shops you're meant to be two metres and there's not been two metres, they're only not even a metre away from each other in shops. So those are just some of the views of people in Doncaster this evening. If we go back over to West Yorkshire, well, some news just within the last couple of minutes as we went on air, in fact, a statement from the joint leaders of the West Yorkshire authorities. They're telling us tonight that uh, there have been no talks with the government today and there are not likely to be any moves into Tier 3 this week. So it's still a waiting game. Negotiations are continuing and we're still no further forward tonight. Ian, thank you very much indeed uh, for that update.